Hello. Just a little chat about emulsifiers then. That's in unit C1 um, and it's linked to intermolecular forces. So I'm going to chat about those first. Right, first things first. Let's have a look at some molecules. Right, some hydrocarbons here. Um, one at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight carbons. Uh, so that's going to be octane. And the one at the top is uh, octene carbon, so that's going to be tetradecane, but you don't need to know that. Anyway, um, intermolecular forces between the molecules proportional to the surface area of the molecule, so octane has less strong intermolecular forces than tetradecane, so this would have a higher boiling point than octane, octane found in petrol more volatile uh, tetradecane would be found in something like kerosene uh, so less volatile now water molecules have intermolecular forces as well and if you were to take chemistry to A level you would find out a bit more about the types of intermolecular forces in water they're stronger than in hydrocarbons but again just for now there are intermolecular forces present so if you were to have water and oil mixed what happens is the water molecules whiz around and the hydrocarbon molecules whiz around and when they meet each other they would join up uh, and uh, attract to each other so all the water molecules would attract together and all the hydrocarbon molecules would attract together and because water is denser then oil water would tend to attract together at the bottom and oil would attract together at the top so oil and water don't mix now we can have an emulsifier an emulsifier molecule looks like this now here you can see that it has part of its molecule that looks very much like a hydrocarbon and it has part of the molecule that looks a little bit like water and not surprisingly then this end tends to stick down with water and this end tends to be attracted to or have intermolecular forces linking it to oil so what we can do is um, put an emulsifier molecule into our water and oil mix and if we do that what tends to happen is that the emulsifier um, links to little clusters of water and binds with the hydrophilic end and the hydrophobic end binds to the oil. Now if we have a look at what that looks like it looks something like this which looks a little bit like a car crash of molecules and therefore we don't draw it like this we make it nice and simple for you. So let's start off with a simple version of an emulsifier and that will look something like this with a we have we represent the zigzaggy bit of the molecule um, as the oil loving and we just have a round circle for the water loving bit so here's the hydrophilic water loving head and the hydrophobic water hating tail now if we have water and oil then the emulsifiers will settle out like this the hydrophilic head in the water the hydrophobic tail in the oil now what you tend to be asked to draw is a droplet of water in oil or a droplet of oil in water so uh, if we have a look at the first of those two there is a droplet of water in oil all the hydrophobic hydrophilic heads in the water and the hydrophobic tails in the oil and the converse argument would be to have a drop of oil in the middle and the water around the outside which will look like this if I can get the computer to change there we go so hydrophilic water loving heads in the water and the tails all inside the oil droplet so that's what you'd be looking for if you were asked for that in an exam